think I might grab a drink from the shop on the way. I know, I'm a child. Oh my God, it's windy. Oh my God. Right, now we're in the workshop. So basically, this weekend, I was at Maker Central. And oh my God, I saw the vintage tool shop that Ben Crow from Crimson Guitars had and he was making a killing of selling those tools. So it made me think, next year at Maker Central, I am selling tools, but not just any tools. They will be handmade tools from hardwoods. And I'm gonna try and make them 100% from wood. So that starts today. This is my selection of hardwood timbers. Oh, it's alive and it's a bit messy at the moment. This workshop is still being set up, but I am so excited about this. I need a plan. So, uh, over to the board. Okay. On this board, you can see my absolutely incredible drawings of tools. Right, so that's, oh, oh that, there. That's clearly a, uh, A plane <laughs> and uh, oh, oh, this is all reversed a mallet, a sliding bevel, and a square. Those are just the first four tools I'm going to prototype. I'm going to start machining some timber and drop all my things in gauge time lapse mode. Some sapiti, which has all been planed up nice and flat and square. And this will be the uh, the blade of the square. And here's some maple, also planed up nice and square, which will be the stock of the square. So a nice contrast between the two timbers. And that will get a really nice effect. Um, uh, to gauge, all ready to go. All I need to do is put a stop on it and get cutting those bits. See, like magic. Okay, so now it's ready to go. Let's get to it. I think I might time lapse again, it might, might be a bit easier. My design for these is as follows. One piece sits between the two blocks, one piece sticks out for the square, another piece butts up here, which then in turn creates a lovely sandwich for the square. If you're wondering why this is so much longer, that's because I plan on mitering this inside so you don't get an end grain visible on any of those sides. <laughs> This is so exciting. I've got one of the kits sort of all ready to go. Just need to mitre those two pieces, but have a look. Bottom stock, we've got square blade, vertical filler. I want to mitre the two pieces, but I want them to be very, very accurate. So I'm going to pull out my trusty little mitre guillotine. 
Let's get back on that. <coughs> yeah, that's dusty. I've not used this in a little while. Now that is a tasty motor. I just realised that I've been left with some offcuts that look, uh, well, they could either be a lovely little wine bottle or something a little uh, dirty. Let's leave it at that. left now is to trim this piece down to its final length which will sit around there and then glue this assembly together first I'm ready to do the first stage of the glue up but I need to head to the shop because I have no mask and tape so I'm gonna do that and then we'll get gluing it's windy out there so like I mentioned earlier I'm gluing these three pieces together first and then putting the top on, which allows the rest of the square to sort of slide in like a tenon. I'm just doing one first to test and then I'll set up. A Do you know what? This is really embarrassing. This glue isn't working very well. <laughs> So what I've done is I've glued it together, leaving this open at the top, in which I'll sand this, then fill it with the last piece. So, do that a few more times and then we'll let them dry and work on them a bit later. I've just realized I've been working in here all day with these lights off. So uh, yeah. the color of the video might change just a, a little bit. So here are the stocks for the squares. Um, I've flushed up the tops to the mitre and I've chopped off some of the bottom because I just felt like the proportions were right. As you can see, I've removed I'm going to call it here for a day. The wind has picked up massively, so the doors are rattling like mad. It's making it pretty hard to film. If you're not already following, give me a follow to keep up with the progress. And I'll see you in the next one.